dress codes, avoiding discrimination. Many employers choose to have a dress code for their workplace. This may be for health and safety reasons or to promote your business image to partners, customers and the public. Although it is perfectly legitimate to have a dress code, you must ensure that it does not discriminate against your employees. A dress code discriminates directly if it specifically requires different employees to wear different things. Requiring women to wear high heels with no equivalent provision for men would be direct discrimination. Employers also need to watch out that their dress code does not indirectly discriminate. This happens when a rule or policy applies to everyone but is more difficult for a group to comply with, for example, because of their gender or race. If you can show that the rule or policy is a proportionate means or achieving a legitimate aim, your dress code will not be indirectly discriminatory. But you cannot justify direct discrimination. If you're considering introducing a dress code or updating your dress code, think about the following. Why do you need a dress code? Will all sections of your workforce be able to comply with the dress code? Can the dress code be adjusted if necessary? Communicate your dress code clearly to all staff and keep it under review. For more information on drafting a dress code that works for your organisation, contact us.